All right, Doug, well, new at six now, uh, swarmed by bees inside her own home. We're not talking about a, a messy situation. It's also a scary problem for an Arlington woman that could be expensive as well. Seven on your side, troubleshooter Horace Holmes explains the cause and what could happen next. Alex Cassiano has run into a hornet's nest full of trouble. There's a lot of bees. They sting. They hurt. Actually, they aren't hornets, but honeybees. And hundreds, perhaps thousands of them, have made their home near the top of the 65-foot chimney that runs up the side of her Arlington home. In June of 2014, they started coming in downstairs into the basement. And they haven't stopped coming in ever since. Scores of them every day. I come in uh, to the basement very carefully, and I scoop them up with a broom. She has a nine-year-old niece who is allergic to insect bites, a cat, two small dogs who are all terrified. One of the dogs, she says, last week was attacked. He had three bees stuck uh, to his hind leg and um, a bee sting located on his abdomen. The chimney where the bee's nest is doesn't lead to a fireplace. It is the exhaust for her HVAC system. And when the bees come into her home, they come in through here. Cassiano would have to dismantle the HVAC to get up to the nest, and pest control companies told her... There's nothing that we can do. They're protected. Uh, you have to call a local beekeeper. She actually ended up calling three beekeepers, and none of them would take the job. The nest, they told her, is just too high up the chimney. One took a look and abruptly left, leaving his beekeeper suit behind. And because they are honeybees, it is against the law to use pesticide to kill the colony. It seems that as a homeowner, um, the bees have more of a right than I do to live in my home. So for the past year, she has been stuck having to live with a growing colony of bees. While I understand that honeybees are very important to our environment, um, my honeybees don't pay my rent. Well, there is a possible solution, but it would require dismantling the top portion of the chimney and then removing the nest of bees. And Cassiano says that that could cost anywhere between seven and ten thousand dollars. She just doesn't have that kind of money for this project, but she does have a lot of bees. So seven on your side is asking for your help to help her. Anyone who knows a less expensive way of solving this problem of getting rid of those bees, please give us a call. Reporting live in Arlington, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News. Oof.